exciting ne negotiations update. I'm Larry Schindler. And I'm Brian Weiss. We had a busy day at bargaining today and made some progress. Our bargaining team spent time discussing some of management's proposals, which include a proposal to enforce the 10 and 12 hour weekday instead of following our current contractual language that allows our members to have a voice in flexible scheduling. To clarify the extra hour language on the personal holiday and place limitations on giveaway shifts. Additionally, they'd like to cut steward time, amend their ability to use PTO for unscheduled absences, and they will also introduce their economic package next week. The union has proposals on the table. Some of these proposals include to have the ability to reduce our FTE hours or drop to casual status for educational purposes. Um, we want to prevent subcontracting. Uh, we also want to enhance the benefits for our 20-year employees. To allow more time to train our new employees and precept them properly, and to make Easter a part of the holiday bidding process for those hospitals not currently involved in that. Um, we also introduced our economic proposals today, and they include, amongst other things, increases to our pension, uh, equal pay for equal work, an increase in our tech call pay, an increase in pay for uh, longevity, and increases to our life insurance policies. Tentative agreements have been reached on layoff and recall process, clarification on low need language, changing the reference to eight hours to one occurrence, defining the meaning giveaway shifts, and sterilized or standardization of the wage increment language. Remember, we'll be meeting every Tuesday through the end yeah. of October. So wear your purple and your buttons and stickers to show support for us. If you have any questions about the negotiations, feel free to contact one of the bargaining team members. We'll see you next week. Thank you.